Okay, so we, we did something on this six months ago, maybe, but I've gotten a lot of questions, one from, uh, from uh, Bangor and internally Facebook, 5G and weather forecasts. And do you remember talking yes. about this at all? Yeah. Okay, so, so it's turned into this conversation around Dorian right now is how much impact will, will a 5G network have? To give you some background here, the debate is the fact that the 5G frequency is going to take up some of the same frequencies that weather satellites use to sense water vapor in the atmosphere. Therefore, it's going to create noise and make it harder for them to discern the water vapor. When that put, it's put in a forecast model, with the data being off, it could throw all our weather forecasting off. And so the high end estimate is could reduce it by 30%. I don't believe it's that big a deal, but, but it does have an impact. And let me show you why. Let's look at Dorian via our uh, water vapor imagery. This is the water vapor look at Dorian. It tells us a lot of things that a satellite can't, right? So what we can see is what's the moist part of it, what's dry, and the eye obviously has a nice definition that you can see in this water vapor. But larger scale, it's even more important. You can see so much, and the models can see so much with this water vapor imagery. There's Dorian, there's a trough here, there's a cold front here, there's a bunch of dry air in between. So if that dry air gets invected into the system, for example, that will weaken it. The models will know that and do that. And so that's the concern going forward, is that it somewhat blinds one of our more important sensory mm -hmm. satellite um, channels. And so now it's a question of, can we move 5G to a different uh, wavelength to avoid this problem, but it would it would have impacts. Very sure. interesting. Crazy to see it with that definition there. Yeah, it's, it's like cool. a perfect little hurricane yeah, over there. Yeah, it looks too good. If only it just stayed right there where yeah. it was. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Keith. News Center Maine at 530 starts right now.